Right, I need two seconds. If you have a Shopify store, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be using Journalist. And let me show you exactly why. What if, right, for your Shopify store, let's say this is your store, most stores should have a blog associated with it, right? You should have a blog where you put out content about the products you're selling, right? For example, if you sell gardening supplies, you need to have a blog that talks about gardening, that has in these all these articles a call to action to the products you're selling because the goal is to rank these articles on Google. So Google brings you in organic traffic and people get introduced to your brand, maybe you capture their email, and eventually they buy something from you. Now, having this and doing this and writing content every single day, figuring out which images to add to the content, where to add links, where to add videos, where to add products calls to action, takes a ton of time. However, this does everything, every single thing, sorry, for you on autopilot. Let me show you exactly what I mean by this. Go to history right here. I'm going to show you exactly a couple of articles we've generated for a gardening Shopify store, right? So this right here, 10 tips for starting a garden as a newbie, right? Great article, proper internal linking, proper external linking in article images, in article videos that are relevant to what the article is about, right? And down here, uh, there's of course tables as well. There's a bunch of stuff, uh, a call to action here to their in this case, to their homepage, right? They could have linked to their products because they do have a ton of products. All this done with AI. And if I'd like, I can just click here, post integration, and it posts automatically to my Shopify store, right? I can go here again and post this one, go here and post that one. Or if I like, I just go, can just go here and publish all three integration and post all five at the same time. Again, all these articles are relevant to whatever it is that you're selling, right? And they have proper internal links, so linking out to other pages on your site, external links, so linking out to authoritative sources in your niche. So if this were an, an article about finance, maybe you're going to be linking out to um, Investopedia or TechCrunch, right? All these have bullets when they make sense. Some of them have tables, in-article images, um, in-article videos that look at table right here, and uh, videos as well, and also links to whatever it is that you're selling, right? This is all done automatically through AI. And if you can go a step further, you, with this one, you can just go here and generate articles, right? Give it a title, a description, select how many articles you want to generate, select the language. If you're targeting international markets, Portuguese, Spanish, Greek, you can just generate articles like this with the click of a button. You can do it with titles, keywords, or the advanced mode, which I won't cover right now, but it's super, super powerful. You can generate up to 300 articles, right? But on top of this, because you don't want to be publishing these manually, you can just go here, auto blogs, set up an auto blog, which integrates, if you go here to integrations real quick, with any of these platforms, WordPress, you want to integrate with Shopify, of course, you want to do it with Shopify, but it does Ghost, Weeks, Webflow, Blogger, Zapier, or even your external API if you want. But you just integrate with Shopify, right? Then go here to Autoblog, new Autoblog, which I won't do right now, but let's do this one right here. I'm going to click Add on this one and select how, am how many articles you want to publish every single month, week, or every single hour. We can do, most people do just five every single week, right? And this content is going to be rich, right? Rich with featured image a table of contents, right? Uh, the content as well, right? In article images, in article videos, tables, bullets, internal links, external links, all this then automatically for you. And of course, a call to action to your products or services. All this then automatically for you. Now, keep in mind that the internal links are not just random, right? We read through the article and we read through your site and find, okay, what's the best page we can link out to as an internal link from this article to this article? We link out and we do internal links in a way that makes sense. Same goes for external links, when we link out to external sources, right? And again, all this then automatically for you. Now, one thing that's also great about this is you can connect your brand here. And if you connect your brand and some of your brand assets, journalists will learn about your brand, right? You're connecting it to your brand and we'll know what type of content to produce that is brand tailored. It's gonna produce content in your brand's voice, using your own images, using your own mannerisms, right? We'll learn and we'll know as much as you do as you're being your, you being the brand owner and produce brand tailored content exactly like the one you saw before, but less generic, right? Because with this, this is not generic at all. But if you want to go a step further and produce even higher quality content, you can do so by connecting your brand. Super, super powerful. And if you're not using this for a Shopify store, I don't know what you're doing because it's super powerful and it essentially automates all the blogging part for you, right? Again, it's going to take your site. It's going to figure out which keywords you should be writing content for because there's the keyword monitor here, right here. You just connect your domain and we'll tell you, listen, you got to produce content for these keywords because they're low search volume, but they get, they're sorry, they're low keyword difficulty, but they get, they get a ton of traffic, right? You can see this here. 
just connect your Shopify store and you'll see all the keywords you should be producing content for. Then select the keywords, right? And then save monitor. You, you connect this to your auto blog, like I, like I showed you before, connect to your Shopify store and it's gonna be producing content on autopilot for these easier to rank keywords that have traffic with images, links, calls to action, everything. Essentially automating your blog post efforts, automating your SEO for you. Super cool. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Try it out. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.